Hello, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. For the full problem and this Lucent transcript, there will be a link in the description of this video. Uh, this week's problem was to show that for n greater than 3, uh, the sum of from 1 to n of the factorial function is not a perfect square. And to get started with this, it's usually good to do some partial sums to see if there's any uh, patterns. Uh, so I did the first seven right here. And uh, if you notice, it looks like for n greater than or equal to 4, that the partial sum will always end in a 3. Or that f of n is congruent to 3. mod 10. Uh, so let's see if this is true and why this is true. Well, uh, for, um, n, oh, for k greater than or equal to 5, k factorial will be equal to 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 and so on which um, you can see there's a 2 and a 5, so we can rewrite this as 10 times 3 times 4 and on and on. Uh, so k factorial for k greater than or equal to 5 has a factor of 10 in it, which means that uh, for k greater than or equal to 5, um, the factorial will end in a 0. Uh, therefore, um, f of n for n greater than or equal to 4 will be equal to f of 4 plus 10 times a uh, number n, where n is equal to Uh, one tenth of the sum from k equal to five oops, sorry, to n f uh, of the factorial function, which is going to be an integer since we just showed that ten is always going to be a factor. Therefore, we can rewrite this for f of four. We have thirty-three, so this is going to be thirty-three plus. 10 times n, and we can rewrite this as 3 plus 10 times 3 plus n, which is congruent to 3 mod 10. Now, since that we know this, what we can do is check to see if 3 um, is a quadratic residue mod 10. Uh, and the answer is no, it's not. Um, I will write out a chart that will show that right now. So if you take the numbers from 1 to 9 and you square them and you take um, that modulo 10, you'll get these numbers. You'll see that 3 is not there, which means that um, 3 is not a, you cannot square a number and take the modulo and get 3, which means, um, based on our past work, that for n greater than or equal to 4, there does not exist uh, a number. Um, so f of n is not a perfect square. 
since four is not a perfect f of four is not a perfect square, and we just showed that for um, n greater than or equal to five, this isn't true either. And so we've shown that for n greater than three that this is true, and that is this week's problem of the week. Uh, to see more problems like this, you can click right, right here to see a playlist. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click here. To um, go to our website, centerofmath.org, you can click right there. And if you're on a mobile device, there is an I in the top right-hand corner of your screen with all of these same links. Thank you very much for watching.